We shall review a couple of quotes on the Jesuits, as is my custom. Quote, This society is, besides a political engine, are the Jesuits, then, friends to freedom? In the eyes of the people, they exist whenever despotism exists, and disappear whenever liberty appears. Devoted to the past, they are the enemies of the future, so much so that were it possible, they would even prevent time from advancing. To a superior, they sacrifice life and conscience. To their order, they sacrifice individuality. They are neither Frenchmen, Italians, Germans, nor Spaniards. They are not citizens of any country. I will repeat that. They are not citizens of any country. They are Jesuits only. They have but one family, one fortune, and one end. And all these are included in the world community. Kind of like, quote-unquote, the communism of celibates, unquote. We see here, the Jesuits are the real masters and perfectors of communism. Continuing, to labor, in short, for one only object which is not the triumph of religion, but the triumph of the company of Jesus and the establishment of its mastery over the world, unquote. Who said this? M. Garnier Pages, 1861, French historian and journalist, out of an article titled The Morning Star, from the book A, Great, A Glimpse of the Great Secret Society, which is very hard to get. So we see here that the Jesuits sacrifice their individuality to their superior. They are part of the Borg, where they are half man, half machine, absolutely and completely surrendered to the will of their superior, so that the will of their superior is the word of God to them, and they will fulfill it no matter what. It's very similar if you see the movie The, the Born uh, Supremacy where an order is given and an assassin gets a telephone call and all of a sudden he reads from his cell phone that he is now on a mission of assassination he departs from his typical place where he lives and he now goes on his mission of murder this is the perfect illustration of the Jesuit especially the Jesuits of the short robe upon an order from their superior they lay down everything they're doing and they begin to fulfill exactly what has been required of them. And the Pope's international intelligence community, with all of its assassins in every nation of the world, is no, is, there is no greater illustration of the loyalty and devotion of the Jesuits to their superior as the low-level intelligence agents have their loyalty and devotion to their superior. It is a complete and total Jesuitical system, this international intelligence community. Now here's another quote. Quote, Within 20 years this country will rule the world, speaking of America. Kings and emperors will soon pass away and the democracy of the United States will take their place. When the United States rules the world, the Catholic Church will rule the world." Unquote. Who said that? Archbishop James Quigley. I wonder if he's any relation to Carol Quigley, who wrote Tragedy and Hope. Archbishop James Quigley, in 1903, was an article in the Chicago Tribune, as quoted by the great... Jeremiah Crowley in his work Romanism a menace to the nation so we see the Jesuits fully intended to use the Vatican to take over America and then to use America really secretly then under British control to rule the world all you Cubans down in Cuba you wonder why America is sending forces to all the nations now you know Washington is ruled by the Pope and every time our forces are deployed it's not for American sovereignty it's not for the protection of the American people it's not for the constitutional purposes of declaring war as set forth in that glorious document 
The whole reason for every American deployment since no later than 1898 has been for the benefit of the papacy to fight the Pope's wars, to kill the Pope's enemies. Why do you think he sent the bombers over to Serbia and for some 77 days bombed the Orthodox Serbs? Why do you think they're bombing the Shiites in Iraq? And Afghanistan, when the Shiites of Iraq in 1969 kicked the Jesuits out of their country. Now, we see the power of the Jesuit order from these quotes. Here is one more. Quote, the secret of the Jesuits is that Loyola, their founder, and his cronies adopted Machiavelli's The Prince a book wherein politics is completely divorced from morals, as their textbook. Everything Jesuit, including fascism, is unavoidable, unavoidably Machiavellian, unquote. Who said this? Andrew Sinclair, 1965, a British Protestant minister, out of his great book, The Great Silence Conspiracy. Jesuitism is fascism. Jesuitism is communism. Jesuitism is labor Zionism. Jesuitism is Saudi Arabian Wahhabism. Jesuitism is radical democracy as imposed by this government around the world. It's all the same. It's the power of the state over the individual run by military dictators taxing the people to death, working them to death, with no middle class ever allowed to arise, sending their huge multinational corporations into all these countries so that there can be no real national businesses and companies producing wealth for nations. And if you don't use these multinational corporations, we'll send the American military in there and make you submit! That's the system. And this is the system that's run by wicked white devils, a white power structure of papal knights, Masonic knights, serving the Pope in every country of the world. 